We're working on a project near Concord, North Carolina. And uh, washed his face off in the cooler. <laughs> Oh crap. Don't drink the water in the cooler. People washing their face off there. Anyway. So we got a tractor mounted spreader, half load spreader. We're using uh, Super Sacks of Bentonite, which is Bentonite's a natural product, sort of a chalky clay kind of a product. They run it through a kiln and they dehydrate it. And we're using it to seal off this retention pond so that the water in the retention pond doesn't you know, it doesn't seep into the ground or whatever. I'm not sure why, I guess. We don't want water A mixing with water B, I guess. I don't know. I'll find out. I just, I'm not sure. But apparently this is, I mean, I could see like a landfill liner or a, or a coal dump liner, but a retention pond seems a little, but I don't know. I don't know all that. I, I don't ask questions. Can you come mix some material? Yes, I can come mix some material. A little bit of a slow start this morning, but um, looks like it's going pretty good now. Had problems with the auger running backwards. Of course, the remote's running backwards, so it runs off it. And it, um, I didn't even think about it because I'm a spreader truck you don't turn the augers backwards. I mean you could do it manually but all you gotta do is just click the valve in a tractor to do it. I almost bought one of those when I got started one of those half load spreaders because it was it was something that I could find. But um still doesn't look like it's spread very well. I hate to do you like this but I can't kind of other way buddy. Oh right yeah, see yeah see talking to the dozer man. Sorry he's talking to me. About the auger spinning the wrong way, but whatever. I had to put a tire on the reclaimer. It just blew out on the back here about a week or so. Ago. Be up here for a couple of days. Compact site, don't have a whole lot of room, a lot of, a lot of retaining walls, got to go in, got to get this, if you don't get this pond done now, uh, won't be able to get it done. Had some weathered granite pieces of rock up there, I think they've ate the teeth up pretty good, but it is what it is, you run a reclaimer, you know you're going to have to put teeth on it. It actually mixes the material pretty good, I think. Pretty satisfied with it. So we're about to finish the project up. We were we were getting some material up there that was kind of rocky. And it was not a lot of room to work. And so I saw that red clay and I said, look, can we cut some strips out of there and let me treat it? And uh because it's filled in here the wind noise won't be so bad and um, you know put it down there and you can tell the difference in the material so that yellow or brown looking stuff is the stuff that come out of the cut up the hill and uh, that that red stuff that's 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 nice material right there I wish I had me about a hundred acres of that but um, we're about to be finished here and I'm uh, gonna put out the last the bet night I'm gonna mix it and then I'm headed to the house and I'll come back and get the mixer next week. But, um, it took a little longer than I thought. I think they expected us to do this in about two days, but there's just not a lot of room on this site, kind of a tight site. And there's a lot of rock. I've already put 100 teeth on the reclaimer. This is pretty good here, though. It was a little rooty on the top, but I double mixed it. And then once we cut the top foot out, treated the rest, the rest has been good. Lots of moisture in it, ain't had to wet it. Moisture's and compaction have been really good. Door. The spreader wagon went down and we've been spreading it with a bucket on the loader and it's 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 been working really really well. They take the super sacks up there and, and uh 
dump them in the loader bucket and then he'll come down here and he'll kind of got a good got a good loader operator and um, he'll sprinkle it out this it's for what we're doing you can't hardly beat it I mean, he's, he's doing a good job spreading it out been with more been with the company a long time not the company I almost slipped and said the name but anyway but, um, you know how it is I ain't, I ain't supposed to say where we're working or, or who we're working for the owners and the different things but um, as long as I don't show no logos and, and if you if you recognize the company or the place don't 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 say it just just say I recognize the company but don't spit the name out if you don't mind please because then I have to go in there and I have to delete the, the comment. Not because I care, but because the company might care. But that's the retention pond, and they want it's going to be a wet bottom pond. And they wanted to bet night to seal off the dirt so the water didn't get into the, the water didn't get into the um, groundwater. And he's going to go out there and he's going to skip over the logo. Going to um, sprinkle it out. I mean, it, it just it works real well. It's Saturday. We come up here Monday afternoon, and again, been a little slow going, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll be done, and hopefully one day we can get some more cement. Still, still cement's not still doing good. But anyway. Now we're mixing the bent knife, kind of in this cut, and uh, it makes pretty nice material. Looks like there's some grease on my, on my lens. But... Starting to get into a few rocks now, but... as dirt as um as you can get right there in this part of the country especially after you put that vent night in it it really conditioned it it's not too wet but it's also not too dry like powder i mean it sticks in the bucket and pumps up if you compress it where it was on them slopes i mean the pad foot rolled it in and it just left dimple marks and that's about it can't even hardly see where the track where the tires left off but it changes fast started hitting some rock and it changed it into some kind of yellow sand down there at the end so I put extra bent night in that but anyway there we go it's the left 12 and I'm headed home <laughs> 